What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel, another video. Today, we are continuing with part two of our ethereal pours. The colors we're gonna be using today are pretty nice. We have a prism violet, brilliant purple, quinacridone magenta, and titanium white. And that is gonna be our base in which to do whatever future embellishments we wanna do. You guys really loved that first video, so I'm gonna do another one. So we're gonna start just by layering the cup. How's everybody doing this wonderful day? I hope everybody's doing amazing. It's still really cold in Detroit. We could use a little bit of liquid sunshine. And that will probably what starts to come after these colors, once these dry have something really special afterwards planned for this. Bring a little bit of springtime and heat to these cooler colors. So we already learned from our last one, do not let the colors churn as much because when they churn, they introduce a lot of bubbles. And bubbles is not what I wanted. I wasn't going for that kind of a look last time. But that was the look that I got because of the way I flipped the cup. Or because of the way I layered the colors, rather. Kind of let them push through each other and... Yeah. We're learning. We're learning what not to do, you guys. Alright, let's... Get all the juicy colors out of these cups. Let's not waste any of them. But yeah, very excited to go to Santa Fe here soon. It's, from what I understand, it's very warm over there compared to what I'm used to anyway. And I am ready. Absolutely ready, you guys. I'm ready for that summertime. See, even though we're still being gentle, we still got a little bit of bubbles going on, and that's okay. I'm gonna pop that one. Oh. Oh. So I'm gonna take this popsicle stick and just drag through the cup and kind of quarter it. Look at those layers on that stick already. All these beautiful transparent colors. All right. Still have not found my spatula, which is okay, because we could just turn the whole operation upside down. All right. Let me clear off this workspace while that paint takes its time settling down to the bottom of that cup. But yeah, these colors, I think, with that white offering the contrast is going to just be beautiful. So let's start. I want to flip it from this direction because I'm, I'm noticing that stripe of color going down the side. I kind of want Part of that to be on top. We didn't want bubbles and we still got bubbles and we were super gentle you guys. There we go. I think I'm getting the majority of them out of there. Pesky little bubbles. They're just doing whatever they want to do. I absolutely love that. Right through the middle there. It is really gorgeous. All right. And luckily, we're gonna be able to spin it and a lot of this on the outside edge is gonna roll under. I'm fine with that because it also offers more layering around. When you look, you can still see through it and see those darker colors underneath. So let's do this. There we go. Now that 
that's a pretty set of colors there. It is kind of giving me like Aurora Borealis or a, like a sun's, sunset ish. But look at these lines and you see underneath it. Beautiful. Let me take some of this excess because I don't want to spin the heck out of it. But I do want to get coverage on the corners. So I'm just helping it have something to move on. All right. One more. a little harder than the first one and that's gorgeous you guys I love that we still have some areas on the sides here that I can touch up after the fact but yeah it's freaking gorgeous these colors together all right so we're going to let this one dry, and then we're going to come back and do our magic to it. So I'll see you when this one's dry. All right, so we're back. This one is completely dry now. It has been curing for about a couple days. So I have not outlined this one like I did in the previous one. We mixed up some more of our clear glue and pouring medium. And I'm going to be using a larger spatula this time to try to get a larger surface area to spread so it's not just a diagonal swipe across leaving that empty space although i do like that negative space so first we're gonna pour this lovely substance onto the surface i really love how it dries clear it has a longer drying time than typical pouring mediums, but I do like that it it doesn't have that yellowing effect that some other compounds have. Yeah, the yellowing effect's cool for the antique look, but I want more of the true, true colors on here, on this one. All right, tons of bubbles, you guys. It's one of the downsides to using this stuff, but a little bit of trying to get ahead of it. I don't want to swipe over a ton of bubbles, so I'll pop what I can. Because the bubbles, I think, would just distort the lacing. I changed my uh, measurements of this a little bit. Now it's more two-thirds clear glue to one-third pouring medium. I was noticing that some of the lacing was breaking and well, that's why I'm here you guys to experiment so you guys don't have to. All right, I think a little bit left. The rest are just surface ones there. All right, so instead of me pouring here over, let's be smarter about it this time and pour over the side so you don't get the drips of paint. There we go, huh? All right. All right, let's do our little swipe. Do you want a little bit more? I have a whole bunch of excess on this spatula, so I'm just letting the excess kind of drip off and flip the spatula over. created a whole bunch of really, really tiny cells on that end. And I did it again with the paint dripping. Still learning this technique, you guys. 
But I definitely did it again. This time I'm not going to clean that off because it's, I don't think I could clean it in that area. So we're just going to stretch this and see what goes on. It might just be a really fine lacing over everything else, which I'm okay with that. All right. Now, since I moved the weight to one end, completely makes sense. That more flew off one side. I'm just gonna like slowly let it finish on its own. You can still see that that gradient underneath, which is really cool. I like that a lot. And then this lacing almost kind of just fades away into, into nothing, which that's a pretty cool little look right there. Put it on these corners, it didn't quite make it all the way across. All right. I love this one. I'm really excited to see what this looks like dry because I love how it kind of continues, then it just fades into nothing. Wow, okay. So, bring you guys down so you can get a little close up of it, see what it looks like right now, and then bring you back when it's all dry and gorgeous. And you can see all the really fine lacing. And I think this mix worked a little bit better down towards the end here. I love how it just kind of trails off into nothing. And I think that's going to be a really cool look when this whole piece is dry and everything's clear. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.